Okay, this is my EKG video. I'm just gonna go over the indications and artifacts real quick, and then when my husband gets home, I'll do the EKG placement and the actual process. So, some indications for an EKG are chest pain, uh, shortness of breath, dyspnea with palpitations, and uh, syncope as well as weakness or lethargy. And then some artifacts that we could see are uh, a pacemaker. You'll see a little tick mark uh, right before QRS, and that's when you would ask uh, the patient if they have a pacemaker, uh, just to ensure that that's not something that is abnormal. And then you would also, or you could also see a wandering baseline, so it kind of just moves up and down. That's usually from the patient's breathing, so you can ask them to um, hold their breath while you're doing the EKG, uh, just to remove that artifact if that's something that continues to be an issue. Another one is a muscle tremor, so the EKG line just kind of spazzes out for a second. Um, and then usually what we can do there to solve that problem is either move a limb lead, uh, depending on if it's like on a muscle that's reactive, and then also we can um, ask the patient to relax through their neck and shoulders. Just lean back and relax so that hopefully we can clear up that artifact. And then Another one that we could see is a 60 second interference and that's usually seen um, as an issue in like the settings or like electrical interference kind of a thing and with that we can either adjust the hertz or more likely uh, get a new machine. Okay so I'm about to go in but before I go in I'm going to inspect the patient's chart just for any complications or precautions that I need to be aware of. Um, like a shunt or anticoagulants, things like that. And I'm also going, going to check for the physician's order, so make sure that an EKG has in fact been ordered. And then I'm going to grab my equipment, which these are going to be my electrodes that I'm going to stick on my patient. And then I'm going to grab an EKG machine as well, and that should have the uh, wires that will go to my limb leads and my precordial leads. And then I'm also going to just implement precaution uh, the appropriate precautions as I do this procedure, so hand hygiene, uh, putting gloves on, and uh, that kind of stuff. So then I'm going to go in.